Hi Libra, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. So let's tap in Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Please give me a second. Give me a second, Libra. Please. What does this say? Please give me a do you want to buy something for twenty five dollars? Yeah. Sorry, Libra. I'm really sorry. So let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for Libra Spirit. Please give me clear messages for Libra. What's going on here for Libra? Okay, Scorpio just had that. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Hmm. Meeting two or more people, discussing and planning. Okay, so I'm definitely getting third party already. Lost, ghosted, blocked, and cut off. Let's see, what else? Realization, awareness, finding out and coming to light. Huh. Mr. Krabs, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. <laughs> okay, so somebody's favorite cartoon could have been SpongeBob. Okay, um, so I'm getting, for some of you, there's something coming in here that you're going to realize about somebody. You're going to realize somebody is weak as fuck. They just have a hard exterior. They really are losers. Okay, um... This person could have been strategizing or planning to work against you at one point, but I feel like now they're trying to, they know you don't give a fuck about them, so they're trying to like fix something, okay, possibly. For some of you, that's the case, okay. Let's see. Some of you getting ready to find out something about, about someone, maybe from this person. Maybe they're going to finally say something, but let's see, I don't know. What's going on here for Libra? Let's see. What is this meeting? Two or more people, discussion and planning. What is this? I got some treacherous as energy from um, Scorpios when it came down to this meeting with other people. Let's see. For Libra spirit, what's meeting? meeting two or more people discussions and planning okay the lovers gemini energy so so a breakup a disunion a separation okay somebody could be sending evil eye to your relationship somebody could really be trying to fuck with your relationship here they are or somebody made the wrong decision in love now they're trying to discuss or strategize on how to actually return or come back in some type of way but i feel like somebody could be trying to fuck with your relationship here okay they, they really could be trying to cause a, a breakup maybe page of swords and reverses yeah a strategy or a plan here that didn't work somebody here is planning and strategizing in secret okay definitely with the moon this person could be just sending you the evil eye they could have did something around this full moon for some of you but i'm getting yeah, for some of you, you just cut this person off. And now you're keeping everything a secret with your life. You don't want this person to know shit about what you're doing. Okay, definitely because you know that they've already been trying to plot on you or scheme. Or they were the ones that kind of like broke your relationship up in some kind of way. All right, but the page of swords in reverse is a plan or a strategy that did not work. Okay, or it's not working. Somebody can't even think straight. How are they going to plan anything? Okay, this is somebody here that tried to maybe inflict fear on, onto you or cause you to feel scatterbrained. Or, um... Somebody here that's bringing some type of injustice to your, your relationship. I feel like somebody is bitter about a breakup. They're bitter. But this is bad news coming for somebody. Somebody is, is scared about some bad news coming for their ass. Yeah, to a custom reverse. You're trying to cause a breakup with the ten of swords behind that. Yeah, five of swords. Mm-hmm. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, now somebody feels defeated, so they're scared. They're in hermit in reverse energy. Could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Somebody can have a... a 
um, an Aquarius Venus. Pisces energy with the moon here. Yeah, now somebody is scared. They're worried because something here didn't work and you're still getting something to regardless. What's the lovers in reverse? Yeah, ten of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Virgo, somebody could have a uh, Virgo Mercury here. This could be somebody in your family that try to just fuck with your union or something like that. This person, they don't have anything to say to you. They're too scared to speak up about something. You know, they don't they don't want to say shit to you. They could be having discussions with their family on how to fix something, say something. It's because they feel like a dumbass. They feel stupid about what they did. That's why I keep getting that in this in this energy. It's like, bitch, you shouldn't have did what you did in the first place. So yeah. I mean, you should feel how you're feeling. I hope you're scared as hell. Really. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, definitely could be a breakup. Okay, a divorce. Somebody's going through a major divorce, an ending. Um, but this is someone that pretends like they have it all. Okay. They pretend like they have it all, but they really don't have shit. Okay, this person is fucked up here. Definitely somebody's business could be falling apart or whatever empire that was built is, is crashing. Okay, um... Somebody's going through some type of breakup with the lovers in reverse. Or this is you. You ended something with somebody that you thought was your happily ever after at one point. That shit is trash. And I feel like you see that now. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is still stuck on you here. Somebody made the wrong decision in love as well. They could have chose this person to kind of like plot against you or whatever the fuck. And now they're stuck with their ass or something is what I'm getting. Okay, yeah. I just got that really strong. Somebody was trying to steal your inheritance or whatever was meant for you, whatever was destined for you, they try to steal that shit or something like that with your family members or this is uh, their family members that they're plotting against you with or something. They don't want to take accountability. They just don't. They know that something fell apart because of their stupid ass. What's the page of swords in reverse? Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, now they're trying to compromise. They don't know what to say though. Whoever this is, this could be somebody you dated in the past, an ex of yours. Y'all could have went out on a few dates or I don't know. But this is somebody that wants to kind of like say something to you. They want to kind of like negotiate or compromise something. I feel like this could be an apology or something like I just said, like a negotiation. But they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person here, they have feelings for you. I feel like they still care about you or something. They see you as this Nine of Pentacles. Somebody that's self-reliant, abundant, self-sufficient. Okay, your money is growing. Your business looks really, really good. I feel like you're very graceful. You're very peaceful. You don't bother nobody. You just work on your finances. <laughs> okay. Somebody could be just sending an evil eye to the person that you're dating or people that you're dealing with. They just are jealous, whoever this is. Could be too. But I feel like they just want to they, they wanna fix something. They know that you don't want to have shit to do with them no more though. Libra. Somebody could have a Virgo Venus. Someone could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. What's this Knight of Cups? Let's see. What's the Knight of Cups spirit? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, now somebody want to tell you the truth or what I just said was the truth. They don't know how to approach you. Six of Wands. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. They know that they did something unethical. Yeah, they did. The Hierophant in reverse. This person could have been trying to slight. They could have been in a relationship or something like that, but they were sneaking around that fact or that talk or whatever the fuck this is somebody's a thief too somebody over here is a thief somebody could be stealing or I, I don't know what they were doing but the ace of swords is truth clarity a breakthrough so there's gonna be some type of breakthrough coming in because somebody here they, they lied there could have been some gossip or something like that page of swords is malicious gossip but I feel like you, you're getting, you're, you're seeing the truth about this person. You see past the illusion, but this person definitely want to call, uh, fix some type of conflict that they have with you. They really fucking do. This person could be trying to see if you're single or whatever. Some of y'all are probably not, but if you are, that's what they probably are trying to see. <laughs> There's a lot of fear here. What's the moon? Okay. Yeah. King of cups and the three of swords. Yeah. Somebody could have a Libra Saturn. Whoever this is, they 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 care about you. But I just feel like they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken about something that they did. They hid from you that they were married. For some of you, it is the fact that they were married and they acted like they were single or whatever, and they were not. I 
Let me see, what's, who's this King of Cups right here? What's the King of Cups doing? The Temperance in Reverse. Yeah, somebody that's imbalanced. This could have been somebody that was trying to antagonize you before or <clears throat> things could have moved pretty quickly with this person. Could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, This is somebody here that you just can never get on good terms with or something is just never balanced with this person. This person is still in balance, but I feel like they know that they care about you, though, or something like that. I just feel like they broke their own heart, putting you in this third party situation or trying to come up against you in some way. It failed miserably. Now I feel like they're ready to come back and tell you the truth or something. OK. Somebody's having a hard time healing from something as well. What's the three of swords? Spirit. OK, yeah, queen of swords. Yeah, it's just third party. Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that's bitter. This person could have been very bitter towards you or they were dealing with someone else that was bitter and gave them the wrong advice. They listened to a damn loser ass hoe that was in their energy or something. Some of you guys are having a hard time uh, healing from something, something about your mother. For some of you, it's your own mother that's doing this bullshit. Or you have some type of feminine energy in your life that's... um trying to tamper with your emotions or whatever. But the Queen of Swords in Reverse is somebody here that's, <clears throat> they're a bit harsh, they're mean. Definitely a liar, this person gossips a lot. So they could have been dealing with somebody that was gossiping a lot about you, yeah, because they're jealous, they're a loser. Yeah, something, something here fell apart with they ass. <laughs> it definitely fell apart. With, with them in this damn third party. Now somebody, I, I don't know, man. I feel like they're scared to tell you the truth, though. They're scared. This person is scared. They're hiding a lot. They're hiding how heartbroken they are, how much they feel for you here. Yeah, that they chose money over this fucking connection with you or being nice to you or whatever. You know? What's this lost card? Ghosted, block, and cut off. Yeah, six of wands, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Somebody got a Leo Jupiter, six of swords, and the tower. Aries energy. Somebody got have an Aquarius uh Mercury. Mm. So I'm definitely getting I'm getting I'm definitely getting the tables turned in this is this situation, um, Libra. Some of you guys could be seen in a public eye, but I'm definitely getting something shocking, something all of a sudden. Okay, maybe this person didn't expect for you to kind of like do them how they did you. I feel like I don't feel like you're doing tit for tat, but I feel like if they ghosted you, they ran off at the mouth or left you behind a lot. I feel like you're doing the exact thing and you're moving on. Peacefully, I feel like you're gaining a lot of recognition and rewards for your hard work that you've done internally on yourself. Most definitely that. I feel like you've been spiritually guided away from somebody that kept ghosting you, blocking you, cutting you off, or just kept treating you like shit. You know? Treating you like mud on the bottom of their fucking shoes. When I'm getting this person here really did a number on you and I feel like you're winning now. You've graduated. You're 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 glowing up here in life. You know? Six of Swords is you moving forward. Definitely moving things to calmer waters here. Some of y'all could be getting ready to travel, move, relocate. But I'm definitely getting spiritual guidance here. Things in your life are at peace. Okay. Any any problems that was back here, I feel like everything is getting resolved. You guys could be saying six six six. What's the um six of six of wands? I'm getting, you know, this person here thought that they were going doing something by walking away, ghosting you, cutting you off, or making you feel left out in the cold or whatever, and they moved forward and now something is hitting their ass because it's like that was actually the wrong fucking decision to be doing. The wrong thing to do to somebody. That's not nice. What's the six of wands? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys are getting new love. You have new love coming in, a new love opportunity. This could just be talking about you pouring into yourself. Spirit gave you the opportunity to heal, to grow, and I feel like you took it. Yeah, for some of you, though, there is good news coming in. There is new love coming in. For some of you guys, you're getting ready to announce a pregnancy, okay? Some of y'all could be getting invited out to an event, some type of wedding or proposal or something like that. But I'm definitely getting, um, there's some good shit coming in for you here. You're getting a victory in love. Whether it's you pouring into yourself or you um finding somebody new. What's the six of swords? Okay, yep, four of wands. Wow. Yeah. Somebody can have an Aries Venus. So I'm seeing stability. 
Some of you guys are um, getting a new home here. You're moving, you're relocating. Some of y'all could be moving in with someone, but I'm definitely seeing an event coming up. This could be a family event, a proposal, a wedding. Some of y'all could be getting married or um, some of you guys could be meeting your twin for the first time or you're already, you're reuniting with your twin after somebody here left you out on the cold and cut you off, abandoned you or whatever. You know, you're coming into a time of stability, happiness, joy, celebrations. Yeah, while somebody else is sad. I feel like this person here, yeah, this person made you feel this way, Empress. Yeah, Taurus, Libra energy with the sun in reverse is Leo energy. You had high expectations for this person. Something about, like, you really, this person here really made you sad. For some of you guys, if you feel like you're having fertility issues or whatever, that's just getting ready to change. Okay, it's getting ready to change or something or shift. Okay, the universe is conspiring for something to happen here in your life. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, somebody is saying that you're moving on. You're not playing. You don't give a fuck about them. Just period. There will be no reconciling or anything like that. Keep your apology to your fucking self and move out the way. What's this tower spirit? But the four of wands, definitely you guys are moving into a time where you're meeting good people. You're meeting people of your soul tribe. People that you resonate with, a good community of people that support you, they care about you, they love you. Okay, this could be a fan base here. Some of y'all are really glowing up with your, whatever you're doing for work or whatever you're doing in the public eye or something like that. Could be getting a lot of attention at this time. If you're single, you definitely have new love coming in or opportunity for one. But what's the tower? Okay, yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Yep, four cups in reverse. So I can have a cancer moon. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something is losing momentum. Somebody's trying to send you negative energy or something like that. But I feel like whatever they're doing is losing. Is they're not be, they're not able to progress here. So whoever this devil energy is, I feel like something is getting ready to blow up in their face. Whatever this is, somebody's going to take the opportunity to do something or 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 move. Okay. Or to come towards you and do something. But I feel like something is going to blow up on them. Four of Cups in Reverse is also talking about you seizing an opportunity. Whatever was at a stalemate is now moving. Okay. You're not missing any more opportunities or whatever the case. What's this devil energy for um, Libra? Okay. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Somebody could have a Sagittarius Mercury. Something about this communication is backfiring on somebody. Or somebody could have spoke a lot of ill, and Ill will over your life or... You in general, I feel like that shit is backfiring. It's losing its momentum here. Okay, something about a missed opportunity. Yeah, you're too strong for this here. You overcame some type of adversity. Somebody trying to come up against you here. And it's backfiring. It's going back on them. Whatever this is, some of y'all could have did a return to sender. It's working. But whatever this devil energy is, they're being defeated. Eight of Wands in reverse is communication is blocked. You're not talking to this person anymore as well. You're done with this person. This person is cursed to some type of toxic whatever the fuck they're in. But I feel like they're having to pretend like they're okay, they're fine. But they know something is coming back on them or something is returning. Somebody is experiencing a lot of delays, a lot of like loss in momentum or something is just somebody is losing their grip on you. They can't control you anymore or whatever this is. What's the four of cups in reverse? You guys could be seeing four, four, four. Okay, yeah, the judgment. Yeah, they took this opportunity, whatever this is, it's like they didn't take the opportunity to do something good. They did something really bad with it. Judgment in reverse, somebody made the wrong decision or somebody could have falsely accused you. They took it upon themselves to kind of like you know now is a good time for me to kind of like get revenge on this person or hurt them or whatever and now it's backfiring they're under judgment excuse me judgment in reverse talks about um somebody here is a lack of has a lack of self-awareness okay making the wrong decisions here a karmic lesson that's on repeat somebody is still in some type of karmic cycle that they're not they're choosing to not deal with or see for what the fuck it is so they can move on. Yeah, I just feel like you realize that somebody just is never going to change. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the judgment here. Hmm. 
Yeah, what's the realization card? Yeah, three of cups. If somebody just, somebody runs their mouth a lot. They talk too fucking much. Somebody is gossiping a lot. Page of swords in reverse with all these people. Six of wands, three of cups in reverse. Fucking judgment in reverse. That's malicious gossip as well. All this shit about gossiping, talking shit. They broke their own heart. Three of cups in reverse though. Somebody could be realizing that the third party that they chose is not who the fuck they thought that they were. Okay. This is also talking about you cutting off family, friends. Okay, you really taking this solo dolo path and finding people that you really fuck with. Okay, you learning how to be by yourself, be comfortable in your own skin, your own energy. Okay, you could be feeling quite lonely because it's like maybe you thought highly of these people or this person, but I just feel like you know what's best. Okay, somebody here could have addiction issues. They could be overindulging in third, you know, sex with other people, a lot of other people. Some of y'all could be seeing that somebody is cheating on you somebody's a cheater a liar okay as well something is coming to light about a third party or about people that you call your friends family so some of y'all could be calling off engagements proposals any kind of events that you have planned for these with these people i feel like that's ending friendships are ending here are ending because you're seeing them for what they are a bunch of bullshit what's the realization here Okay, yeah, the Hierophant in Reverse, Taurus Energy, and the Justice. Wow. Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to throw away the throw away the rule book and kind of like step and step out and branch out into your own thing. You're gonna get ready to do your own thing. You're 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 very. I feel like you're being re rebellious right now in a good way though. With the Hierophant in Reverse, I'm getting good energy from this. Taurus Libra could be significant. Venus Energy. Or I mean, well, you are a Libra. But um, Taurus could be significant to you. Somebody could have a Cancer Mercury. Okay. Yeah. So, somebody here, I feel like you're just seeing that somebody is cursed. They just have a negative pattern that's on repeat. And I just feel like you don't have, any, have time to deal with that shit. These people do a lot of shit that's unethical, immoral. Somebody here lacks morals, values, integrity. They just don't have shit that they got going on. I feel like you don't want to be a part of it at all. Yeah, and they're mad about it. Five of Wands because you're rebelling against them. You don't want to fuck with them. For some of you guys, this is a, a, a marriage here that's ending, a divorce that's really ending, okay? Because somebody is realizing that somebody here is a cheater. They get around, they just overindulge in shit that they ain't got no business. But <clears throat> the high friend in reverse, yeah, it could talk about throwing away the rule book and making your own rules, okay? Fighting for the shit that you want, you believe in. Somebody could, could also be realizing a lot about their own negative patterns, which is changing. They're trying to change their neg negative uh patterns things about themselves that that don't align for their highest good which is good hopefully there could be something going on in court for somebody too somebody broke the law they did something now they're gonna have to go to court and deal with that shit what's this three of cups in reverse hmm. okay yeah king of swords yeah somebody could definitely be in court but i feel like that's you libra you're setting boundaries with these people Okay, you're setting boundaries with these people. You're cutting them off or something like that. Or for some of you guys, you're you're breaking up with somebody here that's very cold towards you, very mean. Or I'm getting somebody that's very cold or very mean towards you. Yeah, Will of Fortune, the Emperor, and the damn Seven of Cups. Somebody is standing in their power. They're realizing that, you know... There's a lot of options, a lot of, I feel like a lot of job opportunities around you, Libra, or a lot of um, doors opening up for you with the Will of Fortune and the Emperor, especially in your career, your stability, your your life, just in general, things are going to turn off for the best for you, I feel like, okay, because I feel like you're being head over heart with these people now. You're, you're really being serious. You're not going to deal with this dumb shit, okay? Somebody here could want to tell you the truth about something that they're doing with the third party or that they were. Somebody now that wants to lead with integrity, okay? Hmm. King of Swords is somebody that's really analytical, very logical, very head over heart. I feel like this person, or you're turning cold on somebody. Okay, just period. What's the Hierophant in reverse? Okay, yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody's getting a divorce. They're breaking up here. There could be a lot of family secrets that's involved here with these this family. Okay, you're just realizing that they just don't align with you, whether it be family or you started a family with somebody and that shit didn't work. I feel like it's very dysfunctional. It goes against your principles, okay, or something like that. 
I just feel like you find it to be a bunch of bullshit. So you're ending that contract with them. Some type of karmic cycle. Some of y'all are really breaking generational curses here by setting boundaries. You're you're growing by doing just that. Yes, yeah, setting boundaries, seven of wands. I feel like you're very defensive against somebody here that's betraying you anyway. Ten of swords. Yeah, I just feel like that this person here, whoever these people are, they want to fight. They want to argue because they're not getting their way with you right now. They're just not. Just period. Ten of Cups in reverse. Might have a Pisces Mars. Yeah, so definitely I'm getting... Even this person, for some of you, this is your damn mama or your daddy or or somebody in your family here neglected you, left you out in the cold here, or they made you feel that way. You guys could be seeing 1010. What's this justice? So karmic justice here is in your favor. Yep, Ace of Wands. Yeah, brand new passion the beginning. Some of y'all are moving, you're relocating. Okay, but I'm definitely getting fertile energy. You guys could be, could be creating something brand new. Okay, you guys could have a lot of excitement about something that's coming into your life here. Ace of Wands. Okay, a lot of new opportunities. You guys could be confused about how to start something, but I'm getting, you know, you have a whole life ahead of you. You just don't got time to deal with this bullshit. People holding you back, stopping you, keeping you stuck. Yeah, for some of you guys, you have a um, opportunity here with an empress, or this is just an opportunity for work. Some of y'all are studying something. You're getting ready to birth something new, start a new project, plant a seed somewhere. This could be a gift that you could be trying to give to somebody that they don't even see because their back is turned. Somebody has something that they're trying to plan or give you. It could be something material-wise. This person could be, they know that you're very luxurious, so they could be trying to give you something nice, okay? It could be something material that they have to spend their money on. This person could be trying to marry you here. Somebody's getting prepared to get married or something. Okay, sorry, y'all. Yeah, but I see a lot of good things coming in for you, Libra. I really do. Right now is a very fertile time, so it would be good for you to like travel if you want to travel. Um, you could be needing some inspiration to start a project or something like that. You have some type of new creative endeavor. Okay, so what's Mr. Krabs here? Yeah, what's Mr. Krabs for uh, Libra? Okay, Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, that looks good, you know? So with the Queen of Cups, okay, so we do have the Queen. Where's the King of Cups? Yeah, I thought we had the King of Cups. Are they here? Yeah, King of Cups right here. Let me see. So, okay. Queen of Cups. So, I'm getting um let me see who this Queen of Cups is cuz I'm getting a lot of shit. What's the what's the Queen of Cups spirit? Who's the Queen of Cups for Libra? Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from something or someone is walking away from something. Some of you guys have a Pisces Saturn here, but the Eight of Cups talks about introspection. I feel like there's a lot of shit that somebody's hiding from you. Somebody's doing a lot of work secretly. I don't feel like they have bad intentions, but they're doing a lot to get prepared for whatever this is that y'all got going on. Is what it's seeing. It's what it feels like to me. Okay, this person is making moves that they ain't telling you about, really. Somebody's not telling you about something that they're doing. Okay, or telling you about whoever... They're not telling you that they're clashing with somebody or trying to get rid of a family member or a friend or something like that. You know, yeah, they have their guards up. They're not, and they're really holding back their energy, but it's making them sad or something like that. Eight of Cups is, um, some of you guys have walked away from somebody that's acting like they're hard on the inside. I mean, acting like they're hard. Yeah, but they're really not. They're soft. They're soft on the inside. So you could be walking away from somebody like that because they are, they put you in a third party situation anyways, and then... You know, you're just walking away because you're desiring more. Eight of Cups, you want more. I feel like you've done a lot of soul searching, introspection. I feel like you don't have time for that hard ass exterior. Yeah, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, you're with your true person. I feel like your actual person too. They're going through something with family. But then you got this King of Swords right here that I feel like was cold towards you. I feel like, yeah, you're facing right at the King of Swords and they really just wanted control or 
they they wanted something from you that you just kept giving them a day but they wasn't giving you anything back this person here was overindulging in some other shit so i feel like you left this alone and now you're going towards new love and this new love is this king of cups right here but they're going through something too though i don't feel like it's detrimental to y'all's relationship i just feel like they have a lot going on with their family or something like that people that they have to get rid of so they can have the stable union with you is what i'm getting okay yeah i feel like you want more and you got more six of pentacles i see balance somebody can have a taurus moon here what's the six of pentacles some of y'all could be getting a new job offer what's the six of pentacles okay five of pentacles in reverse yeah something is going good with your finances or it's going to be okay five of pentacles in reverse taurus mercury energy so this is like overcoming hardships overcoming a financial issue um moving through these obstacles here overcoming an obstacle definitely if you were poverty stricken i see some of y'all could have help coming in this person could be helping you because whoever this queen of cups is they're very generous they're very kind they're very helpful okay somebody here could be coming in to ask you for help too or somebody around you needs your help so they can get out of this five of pentacles for some of you it's somebody that you broke up with that needs your help they need your support or you kind of like ended something with them they need your help, but they're too scared to ask for it because they're what? Hard on the outside and soft on the inside. They don't want you to know that about them or something. But I feel like equal give and take is coming into your life. You're not going to feel left out in the cold anymore, abandoned, or nothing. Somebody's going to work through something with you, even if it gets hard. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, just period. Even if it gets hard, somebody's going to be very much so committed. Yeah. Will of Fortune with the King of Pentacles. They're going to be committed, devoted. For some of you, this is about your money. They're going to be, somebody's going to be able to help you out or give you what it is that you need. And I feel like that's going to be your, your person that you can trust. But I feel like your hard work is paying off here. You giving to all these people or helping them out or being nice is definitely working in your favor. Because I feel like you're going to have a nice, a nice home, stability, a relationship that's going to be nice or something like that. You know? Some of you guys, you're walking away from a mother figure. This person here, you're going cold on them because they. I feel like they're asking you for something. And I feel like you're walking away from them. You're turning the other way because they always need help for something. They always need help to keep them out of a rut or a bind that they get themselves into. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you know, it's slow progress here. You have a lot of people in your energy that's in competition with you. They could be they could be like making you feel nervous or something like that. Some of y'all could just work in a competitive field, but Nine of Swords is a uh, uh, Gemini. Somebody might have a Gemini Mars, might have a Leo Saturn with the Five of Wands. But I'm just getting it's hard for somebody to sleep maybe because their money is coming in really fucking slow. Whoever this is, they need your help. This person here needs your help. They have their hands stuck out. Okay, and they're trying to make you feel bad for not wanting to help them out. Yeah, but I feel like you're dropping this burden. You're not helping them day ass no more. They're immature, they're childish, they're arrogant, bitch. If you're like that, then you can get your own fucking money. And you don't you don't need me for shit. Okay, you don't need me for anything. Go on ahead. But somebody here is very competitive with you. They like to fight, argue, bicker, go back and forth. It's just like unnecessary drama that I feel like you're tired of. I feel like you're very dependable. You're a hard worker. Somebody wants to take all your hard earned money and do what with it, bitch? Because every time you turn around, this person is in a bind. <clears throat> they need help with something. It's just like, you don't got it. <clears throat> I don't have it, bitch. I don't have nothing. <sighs> Move along. You know, somebody here is just needy. What else for um, Libra? Cupid's arrow. Ascending. Yeah. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, and hesitation. Okay, then we have ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, so definitely you guys are getting ready to fall in love with somebody. For some of you, someone here is planning to propose an offer to you here. They're trying to brainstorm different ways to come towards you, to give you a gift or to offer you something. But I feel like now they need to re-strategize or replan. They're trying to do something for you, but I, I don't know if people are in the way or what. You know, I feel like you've ascended though. Yeah, something is over the Grim Reaper. It's like somebody is trying to do something with you and for you or whatever. And then there's some other people, this person's family or whatever, is trying to get in the way. Okay, yeah, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. 
I feel like there's a situation here, Libra, where there's a third party that just won't go away. So you have to leave this relationship and go towards somebody else. Because somebody here just keeps dealing with this third party or keeps like, I don't know. You know, I feel like you're done with somebody. And then you're going to somebody new. Okay, or you're already doing this right now. But... Settlements, agreement, compromise, and reunited. Twin flames finally back together. Yeah. So I'm getting you and somebody are getting back on good terms. That's that's just what I'm getting. This person here is, is being strong and standing in their power and leaving people behind. This could be your twin here. Definitely your twin that's doing this. Yeah, it's something about this person's family. They're over it. They, they don't want to deal with these family members. What else? Or whoever they had a child with for some of you. So we have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Healing hearts. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, somebody's healing. Somebody's doing the work to heal, which is good. If this is your twin, y'all are on the right track. Mm-hmm. Because somebody's cutting somebody the fuck off. And that's just what it is. But it's hurting this person too, though. It's hurting them. Whoever they're around, whoever this bitter-ass person. Queen of Swords in Reverse is bitter. And all this shit is going back on this person. Because they're bitter as fuck. They're gossiping or talking shit or whatever. This could be what this person is hiding. This person doesn't is not saying anything about somebody's mama. Or about their mama or their ex or something like that. I feel like... They're hiding it because they don't want to involve you in anything or they don't want to like make that the center of y'all's connection. You know, it's like, what's the point of talking about somebody that's being a hater? You know, I get it from that standpoint, you know, this queen of swords in reverse is somebody that's giving this person the wrong fucking advice. What's, um, what else? Or leading them down the wrong damn path. Somebody bitter as fuck. Yeah, Queen of Swords in Reverse, King of Swords Upright. So we have photograph. Looking looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Yeah, somebody does not give a fuck about somebody anymore. Talking. Interested, conversing more. Awaited message arrives, text call, email, and hoovering. Yeah. I feel like you're, some of y'all are deleting old pictures, deleting text threads and everything of somebody. But now somebody wants to be interested in you again or something like that. I feel like somebody is just too back and forth. I'm getting like three situations going on, really. There's somebody from your past that wants to come back after putting you in a third party. And then you're, you, for some of you guys could be dating somebody new. Okay, and um, this person is going through something with their family. Okay, and then I'm just getting you. Uh, Libra, you're going through all of this. You're in the middle of all this bullshit. What's, um, what else here? Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. The runner. Runner and codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Then we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Yeah, something is coming out about someone. Somebody, whoever this is that was running away from you, they're trying to make healthier choices now. They're making healthier choices, okay? This person has a hard or tough exterior. Somebody had to do a lot of healing with their emotions. This could actually be a feminine that needs to do this so that way they can have a beautiful union with their person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The snake behind, I mean, in front of an engagement ring, wedding rings. Yeah, it's just third-party energy that's interfering. It's just what I'm getting with this. A lot of third-party energies, a lot of people that just want to see somebody here broke. And, you know, somebody's a moocher. They're a leecher. They just, they're a mess. They always got their hand out. They always want to, they always want something. And they're never doing the right thing in life. And they want to bring you down with them. It's like, no, bitch. No. So let's see what's going on with your finances, <laughs> Libra. What's going on for Libra and their finances and career?
the Hierophant. Yeah, Taurus energy again. Some of you guys are definitely coming up. Um, you're getting ready to be a leader in something here. I feel like, yeah, something just doesn't go with your morals, your values. These people do a lot of fucking... I don't know what they do, but they don't have any principles. They don't stand on anything for real. They, they really don't. Some of you guys could need a financial advisor here. You guys could be in training for something. Okay, you could be in training for something about a job or you're you're learning something. You're studying something to become a, a owner of a business. Okay, yeah, with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck right there. Yeah, let's see. You could have Taurus in your chart. You're dealing with the Taurus. Some of y'all could need advice for something. Advice on how to do something. Some of y'all could even be getting, you're tying the knot with somebody. You're getting married and I feel like you're going into a contract with somebody that's going to push you forward with your finances or whatever, you know? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you. For some of y'all, yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, King of Pentacles here. For some of you, you're you're getting in the contract here with somebody that's a boss, that's a leader, or this is you. Somebody knows how to really multitask here. Some of y'all are going to have to work with somebody or you are working with somebody. You're working as a team to build something, to, to build an empire. But I'm definitely getting the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that gives good advice about finances. They really do. They're good with their money. They can manage their money very wisely. Okay, so you could be meeting this person. This could be your business partner. Some of y'all are going into business with somebody or definitely something long term with this person where you're going to be making good money with them because this person is very stable. They're secure or this is you. Yeah, you're cutting whoever this Queen of Swords is with the Tower and the Death card. You're cutting this person off. Whoever this is, this could be a boss of yours that you're just tired of hearing. You're tired of hearing their mouth. This person tries to intimidate you or they're very hard to please. They always want something. So you're cutting them off and now they're bitter with their ass coming up in reverse in this reading. Okay, they're bitter about it or they're mad about it or they're talking shit or whatever. It doesn't even matter. I just feel like whatever this is that you're seeing about this person, if somebody shows you who they are, please believe them. Don't keep going back and forth about these loser assholes. You know, but I'm definitely getting, um, you guys are getting ready to be pretty busy. Okay. We're trying to run a business or start a family for some of you. It could be a family business. I'm getting, I just heard, or you're in training here to become a leader or take over. Um, I'm getting like a masculine that's going to get, get ready to start a family with somebody and start a business. You're going to, you're going to, you're in training to, uh, get ready to take over, take on some other responsibilities here. So that way you guys can make money, join forces or, or whatever this is, you know, whoever this queen of pentacles is, or they're very resourceful. They have whatever it is that you need. <laughs> okay. Period. What up? What, uh, what else for Libra? Okay. Yeah. Six of wands. Yeah. Somebody here could be seen in a public eye or you're getting more rewards and recognition for your work here. Every time you level up, I feel like you get you level up in your finances or something. I just feel like something else had to come had to fall apart first. Okay, so you're almost at the finish line with something. Okay, this could talk about completion of a project here. Somebody could be helping you complete a project. Okay, you guys are getting more rewards and recognition, or you're getting more um clientele, more followers, or something like that. People are recognizing your talents. Okay, you're getting ready to be a leader or boss or something like that. Because I feel like you have good morals, good values, good integrity. Shit, God like what you're doing. So, you're getting ready to celebrate something. Or graduate. For some of you guys, you're getting ready to graduate from training or school or something like that. Whatever it is that you're learning, you graduated. I feel like it's this damn, this this mess here with this person. Because... Um, with these people, your family, I feel like somebody's just trying to financially abuse you here. Somebody's a financial abuser. That's exactly who they are. They always need something, you know, and they always take it from you or something like that. What else? Yep, nine of cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment as far as your finances goes. Yeah, some of y'all have really hit the jackpot or you're going to or you're going to come up with a brand new idea. Okay, with these uh, uh, ideas that you're brainstorming, one of them is going to be it, okay? Some of y'all could be playing the lottery or you're betting on things, you're winning a lot of money, or you're going to be, or you're needing to bet on something. I feel like you're going to win or, you, or somebody is really good at the casino or something. But I'm definitely getting fulfillment as far as your finances goes, yeah. Queen of Pentacles right here is... Um, Whoever this is, is going to be a wish fulfillment for you. This person has a lot of abundance coming in for them. So I feel like whatever that shit is, it's definitely going to help you out major. This person is very generous. They're very kind. They're willing to share. They're not greedy at all. Some of y'all are getting ready to have your dream job. Something that you've always dreamed of. 
You're getting ready to be very happy with your money. This looks good, Libra. You have nine of pentacles. You got to be saying nine, nine, nine. So this looks nice. Whoever this is you're getting ready to partner up with, this person has it. <laughs> they have it for you, okay? This is why this other person is mad. Because it's like they can't abuse you anymore. They can't take from you anymore. It's like you need to come to the realization that this person is a damn greedy ass bum. They don't want to work. I don't give a fuck who it is. Mama, daddy, sister, brother. It's just like, go on ahead. You had your time to do it. Now you feel like you ran out of time. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just period. You know? So I feel like whoever this is right here is making progress. They're definitely making progress. And y'all are going to be fine. Y'all are going to be stable, secure. So this was your reading, Libra. Very nice reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. Excuse me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.